All right, everyone, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, first, I'd like to thank everyone that subscribed to the channel and those that have been sharing and liking the videos. Please continue to do so. Today, we're going to bring you the versatility of the magazines on the Glock 26. All right, so let's start out with the one that I have partially inserted here. All right, so basically what this is, this is a Glock 19 15 round magazine. All right with X grip, grip extension. And that just takes up the space, all right? And it slides right on, all right? So once you put it in, this is what it looks like. It has a little cutout for your pinky here. And this is, of course, the most comfortable setup for me, one of the most. Definitely the highest capacity, most comfortable for me uh, and how I would carry this gun, okay? Now, one thing I do need to mention is that you can also go with the Pacmar extension, okay? This was the first one that I had when I went with the larger Glock 19 magazine. Uh, that's why you see the space here. Okay, this is the Glock 17 magazine. So I just threw this on once I took it off my Glock 19 magazine. I just threw it on one of my uh, Glock 17 magazines that I had laying around. All right. So that's why it has that little space at the bottom. But nevertheless, I still use it at the range. Now, both of these companies, X-Grip and Pacmire, they make a longer extension for the 17. All right. So it looks similar to this, it just comes down further. And then if you go with the X-Grip, it looks similar to that one, and then it just comes down further, okay? Um, so instead of letting it go to waste, I just threw it on my 17 mag, uh, so, all right. And let me show you what that one looks like. It's just a backup magazine, so. Me, I wouldn't carry the 26 with a 17 round magazine in it. You know, it just adds too much weight to the gun. All right, but this is just for the purposes, you know, of the video. Okay. All right. Now we we'll change it up a little bit and go back the other direction with the smallest or shortest in height, I should say. Now this one is the P Mag. Okay, this is by Magpool. This is the most stealth out of all the ones that I have here. All right, I don't have my factory 10 round magazines because I converted them all, you know, some way or another. All right, which I'll get to here in a second. But the Magpul gives you 12 rounds. And as far as what I have here on the table, this is going to give you the shortest height. All right. And the largest capacity. And let me show you. All right, different little look there. I can barely get my pinky on here. You know, but I didn't find that out until after I bought it. All right, so you got that option. Here's one of my factory 10 rounders. It came with the gun and then all I did was just put the Pierce plus one. All right, so you're able to get 11. I like the way this one looks. I'm able to get a little bit more of my pinky on there versus the P-Mag by Magpul, all right? So this one is pretty cool. Now, out of the three shortest ones that I have here, this is my favorite. And basically, this is the stock 10 rounder. And when you look at it, it looks like you're going to have some, you know, plus one or plus two in there, but it's plus nothing. <laughs> All right. It just has the longer pinky extender on there. And out of those three there, this is actually the most comfortable in my hand, just because in a large hands, as you can see, but I get my whole pinky on there. 
all right and then when you're concealing because of the nice slant it flushes up with the back of the gun doesn't print or stick out you know it doesn't cause any extra printing i should say but you can see how it kind of scoops here so once your pinky is in there you know kind of caresses your pinky <laughs> lock your pinky in with that little angle at the bottom so this is actually my favorite one out of all the shorter ones so if i'm going to carry and i want it the shortest possible configuration uh, for comfort for my hand i'll use this one all right and this is pacmire i believe i'm saying that right i'm not sure but it's the pacmire pinky extension all right you guys already seen the x grip and this is my favorite one to use on a Glock 19 clip. We got the logo on both sides there. That's pretty neat. And it is, uh, it's actually rubber. kind of firm all right and then the one that I have here like I said I had this pack Meyer that was on the 19 clip or magazine I should say originally but uh, it's kind of hard and no texture no grooves or anything like that and it was slick so like if you're sweating you know your pinky you're just moving around on there so I decided to switch over to the X grip. All right. But this is why the 26 is still a viable carry option. All right. No matter which generation you have, you know, whether it's the Gen 3, uh, Gen 4, or Gen 5. And then, of course, you got the 30 round long boy magazine. And you can put I think it's 30, 30 or 31. And then you can, you know, you can put the plus two on that. And then you also got 24. So you got a bunch of different extended magazine options that's out there that you can use with your 26, your 19, and your 17. All right. But of course, with the 26, that's going to give you the most possible options because it's the smaller gun. And then you can use, um, the other nine millimeter magazines uh, that are larger for the 19. So you can use all the configurations for the 26, for the 19, 19X, uh, 17, any one that, you know, is that comes double stacked. Um, but of course, not any of the 43s or 43Xs or anything like that. You can't use those. All right. But all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Check you out on the next one.